Hi, welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please consider doing so now and register for notifications for future videos. My lesson today is on quotient of powers property. Our objectives today are that you will divide powers with the same base and you will simplify expressions involving quotient of powers and you will evaluate expressions. Here's what I want you thinking about and asking yourself. How can you divide two powers that have the same base? You really already understand this if you've done any work with exponents, but let's go ahead and add a rule or property to your data bank in your mind. So quotient of powers property means that you're gonna divide powers with the same base and subtract their exponents. So algebraically speaking, we have our base a is the same, a to the m divided by a to the n is equal to the same base, and you take the exponents and subtract them. So m subtract n. Here's why it works. So special note as well that a cannot be equal to zero because then you'd have zero in your denominator and that's undefined. So this property only works when the base of the power is not zero. So here's an example. We have 3 to the 9th over 3 to the 4th, which is equivalent to 3 to 9 subtract 4 or 3 to the 5th, So, which is equivalent to 243 if you simplify this one step further. Now let's think about this. My students often say cancel out. Well, when you're canceling out, you're taking away, right? So if I have nine threes in the numerator and four threes in the denominator, so think about that. Three to the ninth is three times itself, nine times, three times three times three, and so on. And the denominator, you're gonna have three, uh, four threes multiplied by each other. So if you do the whole cancel out, right, where you're taking away, you're gonna take away the four sets of threes. It's gonna leave you five threes in the numerator. So, think about taking away is subtracting. So we're gonna subtract the four th um, threes from the denominator from the numerator, and I have five left in the numerator. So, but in simpler terms, we know that if we have the same base for our powers and we're dividing, we now know we can just subtract the exponents. So let's go ahead and see if you can do this. I'm gonna ask you to pause the video Try these three on your own and come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So on the first one, we have the same base of four. So we're going to subtract the exponents, five subtract three using our quotient of power property. Five subtract three is two and four squared is 16. On our second example, we have negative two as our base. So we're going to keep our base and we're gonna subtract our exponents. 10 subtract four is six, and then if we evaluate or simplify this, negative two to the sixth power is gonna be positive 64. Remember, if you have a negative base to a power and the exponent is even, you're always gonna have a positive solution. If your base is negative and your exponent is odd, you will have a negative product. Last example was x to the eighth divided by x to the seventh. So we're gonna keep our base x and we're gonna subtract our exponents. Eight subtract seven is one. And remember that's that invisible one. If you haven't watched my invisible one video, I invite you to do so. So now let's talk about simplifying an expression. If you think you've got this property all down pat, then go ahead and pause and see if you can do it. Otherwise, stay here and here we go. So to simplify this expression, the first thing I wanna notice is that I have three powers, two in the numerator and one in the denominator. So the first thing I would do, and there's multiple ways to do this, but I would employ the product of powers property in the numerator because I can look at this and see five to the fourth multiplied by five squared. And in my previous video, I show you the product of powers property and we add the exponents when we multiply. So if I simplify that, I am now gonna have five to the sixth over five cubed. Now I'm ready to use the quotient of powers property and I'm going to subtract my exponents. Six subtract three is three. 
So now I'm going to simplify and get 125. 5 cubed is 125. All right, your turn. I'd like you to pause the video and try this one on your own. Come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So again, there are multiple ways to approach this problem, and I'm just going to show you one today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the quotient property for both ratios. So x to the 10th over x to the 6th, it's quotient it being divided with the same base. So I'm going to subtract the exponents. Second one, I'm going to subtract the exponents. Now I'm going to simplify that. Like 10 minus 6 is 4, 7 minus 4 is 3. Now I can use my product of powers property and add the exponents. So my final answer when I simplify is x to the 7th. All right, your turn. Please pause, try all three, and come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back, let's see how you did. So in the first one, my first approach would be to simplify the denominator and I'm gonna use my product of powers property. So I'm gonna have three to the 14th and I'm gonna add my exponents two plus six, giving me three to the 14th over three to the eighth. Now I'm gonna use my quotient of power property and subtract my exponents, giving me three to the sixth, which simplifies to 729. On the second one, I'm going to use the quotient of powers property first, and I'm going to subtract the exponents in this first, and then subtract in the second. So 6, remember there's an invisible one here, 6 subtract 1 is 5, 8 subtract 7 is 1. Product of powers property, I need to add my exponents. So we have y to the sixth as our final solution. Here, I'm going to do the product of powers property in the numerator first and add the exponents. Same as with the denominator. So I'll have x to the 14th over x to the 6th. Subtract my exponents using the quotient of power property. And my final answer is x to the 8th. So that's quotient of powers property and how to simplify expressions with exponents. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson, and again, please subscribe and register for notifications of future videos. Have a great day.